Question 13. Given that f of x equals 3x plus 5 and g of x equals x plus 4 divided by 3, find g inverse of x, composite function g f of x, then g f of 4. Again, this is a question that always comes just a matter of you understanding the principle. So if you notice the marks, the first one is one mark, two marks, and then one mark. So we have four marks to solve for here. So let us start with M. Here we are finding this. So the first thing that we need to do is, let us say, let y equals g of x. So what I have is y is equal to x plus 4 over 3. I've just replaced this expression. Then at this point, we need to solve for x. You need to solve for x. Or alternatively, what you do is, before you even solve for x, swap. We need to swap x and y. That's what we need to do. So, if that happens, what you are saying is x is equal to y plus 4 over 3. Or you let y equals to g of x. That's the first step. The second step, swap x and y. Then once you do that, then make y the subject of the formula. So, what this tells me is now I'm going to have, this is over 1, cross multiply. 3 times x, I'm going to have 3x equals 1 times y is a y plus 4. Then I need to make y the subject of formula. So this tells me that I've got 3x minus 4. The moment this 4 closes the equal sign, comes this side, equals y. So meaning y is equal to 3x minus 4. That's what this tells me. Then I let, let y equals g of x at that point. So this tells me that g of x equals 3x minus 4. That's what it tells me. So if I come here, I'm going to substitute now. So g of x inverse equals what did I find? 3x minus 4. 3x minus 4, like that. Then, we are good to go for the first one. The second one, this one. G of f of x. So, this is the composite function. So, we substitute the expression for f of x. f of x, this is f of x. So whatever there is x, in g of x, which is this one, we put f of x. So I can come here, just get space here. So I have these two functions. So I'm going to first write g of x. So g of x equals, we have x plus 4 over 3. So now we are looking for g f of x equals now whatever there is x we put f of x in plus 4 over 3 then we go back and look for the function what is f of x f of x is this one 3x plus 5 so it now becomes 3x plus 5 I'm replacing this function within the actual function which is this one that's what is happening there then plus 4 over 3. This tells me that I'm going to have 3x plus 9 over 3. Which, when you simplify, 3 into x is x. 3 into 3x is x. Then 3 into 9 is a 3. So I'm going to have x plus 3 as a composite function. Then, this one is now, 
g of g f of x equals x plus 3. You get the 2 marks. Then we substitute to find g f of 4. So meaning whatever there is x in this function we put now. So this is c, this is b. So whatever there is x in this function we are going to put in a 4. So g f of 4 means 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. So 7 is the answer. So this is how you answer this question to get the 4 marks. Don't forget to download companion app. The link is in the description below. You'll find there 10 thousands of questions that you can use to practice past papers and solutions. Remember practice makes it permanent. Join me as I look at question 14 in the next episode.